the last thing is you need to have a a catch pen. So when the animals, let's say you go and buy two steers, you bring them out to your homestead and you open the trailer, you're, you're excited, you want to get them out on the pasture, you open the gate and they take off running because they're stressed. That's what they do. Most of the time they take off running and they don't know where the fences are on your farm. They don't know where the perimeter is. They might run through it. You're better off always when you unload animals. I don't care if it's sheep, goats, or cattle, or even pigs. Make sure you put them in a catch pen. And that can be a simply a 16-foot cattle panel. You can buy those really cheap and fasten them to some posts and with a gate. you got to have a gate on your pen. But it's got to be four foot. I've unloaded cattle. I went to unload cows for folks and they're newbies. And you get out there and they got this chicken wire, this woven wire-like stuff. I'm like, there's my, I'm like, no. I'm not unloading into that. They'll be gone. They'll flatten that in a heartbeat and your cattle will be gone. So make sure you have an area that a trailer can back up to on a hard surface road. So if you got a, a gravel road next to your driveway, put your pin there where you can back up. They can walk out into the catch pen, close the gate, and leave them in there, you know, four to eight hours. Make sure there's a water source in there. Let them calm down because they're stressed. They've been hauled maybe 100, 200, 300 miles. They need to calm down. And then you can open the other end of your gate, have a gate on both ends, open the gate that goes out into your pasture, and let them walk out. You're, and you're off and going then. But just to open the gate on the trailer and let them go, you're asking for some big trouble. I, I've seen it.